Hello friends, it is Rachel here and I am here for Scrapbook Nerd and yes, I have blue paint on my fingernail. <laughs> uh, that is the picture I am using today and it's from last summer and I am going to do a grid style layout. So before I did this, actually the day before, I just wanted to do something in my craft room and so I got out this collection and I just placed some pieces on a paper and I was like, I kind of like the way that looks. I'm going to do this tomorrow for a video. So that's what I did. <laughs> that's how I came up with this uh, grid style layout and uh, why it was already done. Just because I needed to do a little bit of something. Does anyone else have, ever have that where you need to do something but you don't totally want to do a whole project? Well, that's sometimes what I do. But anyway, um, yeah, so I am using the Crepe Paper Fresh Bouquet Collection and I have some pieces from it, um, but I don't have the whole collection. Um, it's actually really cute. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not get it or not because there are just so many collections out there and a lot of collections that kind of look like this. It kind of looks like the heritage collection, so I wasn't really sure if I wanted it. But I decided to go for it anyway and get some pieces. So I have two different ephemera packs. I have chipboard, I have those stickers you see on the right there, and I think that's it. Oh, and I actually have those florals that you'll see. There we go. Those ones that are like puffy and they're very, very pretty. I really like them. So yeah, that's what I have of the collection. And I thought it would be fun to do a grid style layout. Um, so what I did with uh, that piece that I just glued down there is I distressed the edges and I sewed around the edges to give some texture and I also used hot glue for it. I didn't quite want to use um, like foam to give it dimension because um, that would have been just a little bit too much but because it was so distressed and like pliable and I used hot glue. I just kind of glued down near the middle part so that the edges of it could stick up and I think that'll that'll stick to the page no problem especially because it was hot glue. And then I did something similar to the tag at the bottom as well. And in this photo I am sitting outside reading a book so I thought that ephemera piece that has all the books would be the perfect thing for this layout. I was so excited when I saw that ephemera piece and I couldn't wait to use it and it just so happened that the first layout I was going to make with this collection was uh, of me reading a book outside. So it really couldn't have been more perfect and I'm so happy I got to use it. I'm also using some acetate pieces on this layout uh, that I'm going to staple down that you will see there. I wanted to add a third acetate so that it would kind of like just be in threes, but there just wasn't the space for a third one. But I still think it looks okay because there's the black and white from the tag, so I think it kind of all um, is very cohesive. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun making this layout. If you want any of this collection, um, you can find it at scrapbooknerd.com. Also, um, if they are out of stock, you can sign up to be notified when it comes back in stock, when, if when it comes back in stock. Um, I think it's a really cute collection. I do really like the colors and I like the vintage feels of it. Um, yeah, I didn't know if I would, but I do really like it. I'm not necessarily going to get like <laughs> five packs of everything like I did with all heart but um but it's really cute it's I really do like it or maybe I'm just going to fall more in love with it the more I work with it it's a little bit different from sweet story because sweet story had a lot more bright colors and that was Maggie Holmes and not crepe paper but um sweet story was more bright colors and this is more like muted colors which I really really like muted colors so I'm going to use some mist spray and put some mist over the page, definitely for, I don't know, to, to not have so much whiteness in this um, project. And I'm also going to do like a little black outline around the page. Yes, I could have used my sewing machine, but I didn't have black uh, thread at this time. So <laughs> I know I, it would have been great to use a sewing machine, but uh, that is okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do like a dotted outline and I think that looks good. It ties in the black together and this video is pretty short and sweet. I apologize for that, but it really just came together so easily. So here's the close-ups. I will have all the links down below for Scrapbook Nerd and, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!